Yeah? Sure. Yeah. Hi guys. I have seen this all over YouTube. People do it all the time. I know it's super big. Super big on TikTok too. So I thought I would give my best try at painting phone cases. So I got four phone cases. They did not come white. I did not look at the order properly and I ended up ordering black cases. And then I ordered two clear cases that I then had to do coats over. But ultimately I'm super excited for this video. I plan on doing three cases. I got four just in case something bad happened. But also if it's something new, you're likely to have something go wrong. So I did that. For my last video, I did put a gloss coat over my two paintings. So I just wanted to show you how that turned out. Super pretty. It makes the colors way more vibrant. So I love that. Just trying to decide where in here I should put them on my walls, whether I should start decorating behind me or not. So I am super excited. I have all my materials right here and here we go. Let's paint some phone cases. So for this project, I put an Instagram story up. If you don't follow me yet, go to artworks by Jackie, um, artworks underscore by Jackie. That is where I posted it and where I had people respond to which ones they like. So these are my food options. I have number one, which is a little taco. And then this drink that Peter really likes to get, um, Peter, my fiance. This is a little coffee drink with like a whipped cream and I imagine doing like a cinnamon sprinkles on top and then this one is a glass of lemonade and what I want to do is where the lemon is I want to actually make that into a squishy so the parts that are outside of the glass here that would be a squishy so so far based on Instagram the majority of the people like the lemon and then second place runner-up they like the coffee drinks. So I think I'm going to do these two for this video. Drax, stop. Jeez, that's crazy. And then I decided to try and draw some characters because I wanted to do something a little bit different. Number one, I have Sunny the hamster. So remember this guy from my last video? He's my squishy that I made. And he is so stinking cute. But he is slowly rising but he's my little cutie he's the first um character squishy that I've made so I thought I would make him into a phone case and I had started drawing him and realized his carrot was on the other side but that doesn't matter we'll make that work and then here on this one I was thinking of doing a cat laying on a beach under an umbrella and the reason I was thinking about that was because in my recent squishy haul I got these weird little dudes and they're like these jelly little things. So I thought I would glue that onto the case and be like this like fat little squishy cat laying on a towel on the beach. Um, but the majority of the people really liked Sunny the Squishy. So I'm going to hold on to this and maybe do this one on another day because I think that that's just a really fun idea and way to be creative. I didn't <laughs> come up with a third option just because I was drawing a blank and I needed to get started. So... I'm going to do Sunny the Hamster and then the whipped drink and the lemonade for today's video. All right, so like I said, I got four phone cases. So these are the two cases that I purchased that are a hard plastic. And I actually ended up liking the ones on this better. They're just harder to prep. And then here are the matte cases. They're a little bit foamy, I guess is probably a bad descriptive word, but they're more matte. You guys, just like every other video, the second I press record, it's like, this little dude will not leave me alone. You will see it today. He does it nonstop over and over again, just wants to be in front of me and in front of the camera and wants to knock it over always. I started this process with the hard plastic case. I thought it might be the easier option, so I just gave it a little scrape, thinking it would need that to hold the gesso, and then I started going to work just covering the top of it. Based on the amount of Mariah Elizabeth YouTube videos I watch, I should have known to do this, but I 
didn't. I painted the whole thing and then realized there was this plastic covering on it to keep it from scratching. So I just did all of that work and wasted all that gesso just to have to throw it away. You guys, check for plastic on your cases. Okay, now this is gonna start to look familiar. I'm going to, again, scratch this phone case, just gave it a light scratch to see if it would hold, and then look at this disappearing act that this gesso did on this phone case. I don't know what it is they have on there, but it just ate away, not ate away, but it made all of the gesso clump. So here I'm working on coat three, and you can see even in these time lapses how far the paint shrivels towards the middle. So it only soaked up those places where it was scratched. That's my fifth coat, you guys, and look at how it's still not covered. It took a sixth coat to finally have it completely covered. And here with the seventh coat, it finally wasn't transparent. Once all of those coats were complete, it was super bumpy, so I took a fine sandpaper and sanded it down. I just wanted it to get a little bit more even and a little bit more flat to the touch, but then the thin parts, if I got the sandpaper on it at all, it scraped it completely off the case, so it was really frustrating. You can still tell how bumpy it is, so I just decided to scratch it. I figured I would move on to that if I needed to in a different video. So here I took the new one and I literally scratched it up as much as I possibly could. And then I taped it up and did some gesso. This one I only wanted the picture on the back. So I made sure to tape it so the gesso wouldn't go anywhere else. And here's Mr. Drax just needing to be the center of attention, needing to get underneath the camera, try and attack me, try and knock over the camera setup. Just his usual go-to on recording days. <laughs> three coats later and it was looking really good so I took off the tape around the outside and doing that scraping process made this so much easier so here I'm going to put this trace paper underneath my image and then put the phone case under there and you can use a pencil and just color on the back of your picture and then trace it with a pen or something with a little bit more uh, power behind it so that you can see through it. I just had trace paper from college so it was convenient to use. And look at how good it turns out. I used two different paint pens for this project. I used Posca and I used Paintar. They're both acrylic pens. My Paintar acrylic pens are bigger. My Posca pens are more of a fine point. And my Posca pens weren't loaded yet so you'll see me <laughs> going and reloading them on paper. It took me a bit to get this guy covered. Number one, because Drax kept getting in the way, but also because my paint pens just weren't quite loaded yet. So you'll see that as a little bit of a struggle. But here in the background, I used those paint tar pens and they work super great. So I was really happy with how that turned out. I started to um, keep with the design and then you'll see later I kind of bend and verge into a different um, addition which I'm not so sure about but here I'm just adding little details his nose his little tongue and boom there's a second coat you definitely need a second coat when using these um, it just makes it look so much sharper and better so here I'm adding in the black to the details and the outlines to make sure that he is all fully covered and he stands out. Here is where I think of something creative to make it stand out. Look at these dots. They are supposed to be on the lemon, but here I added them to this phone case, which limited me in the future. But look at how cute it turned out. Little Sunny holding his carrot. He's so excited about having his carrot as a gift. And this background looks so good. The opposite colors, the orange and the blue and the yellow and the blue look so sharp together. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Okay, so case number two, we do several coats of gesso like you saw before, and once everything's all even, we put it underneath the notebook and trace it around to be able to see our design that we are going to do. And this one is my little coffee cappuccino drink. So I meant to do this one in acrylic paint, but I had my Poscas in front of me, so I just started going and then realized that I had made that mistake. So I decided the third case would be done in paint. This 
case took me a long time and you guys won't see this, but I had to delete so many videos because Drax would not leave me alone during this case in particular. And you saw how many times he was cuddling me and wanting all of my attention in the last video. And let me tell you, it was 10 times more in this one. So here I'm coloring the background and I'm just getting as much coverage as I can so that I can go back over and do additional layers. So I'm coloring the background and the background and the background and the background. And we're almost done with the background. So here I'm outlining around the whipped cream and the straw. Still working on that background. Almost done. And here we go. So now we're moving on. Here where I started outlining the glass, I wanted it to be one of those clear see-through old school glasses um, that you get like a hot chocolate in at some restaurants, restaurants, <laughs> at some restaurants. But I couldn't figure out how to make it look like glass because I didn't have a lighter pink. And so I ended up just leaving the background white, but at least you know what it was that I was meaning to do. I made the out... Drax. You guys, this is what Drax does. He yeah. sits at his dad's desk and he eats the little feathers that he leaves behind. And I have to run around the desk and grab them. So I just yes. thought I would flip the camera so you can actually see what I see when I'm making these things. <laughs> Anyways, back to the drawing. So I wanted to outline the part that was kind of oozing down, like the foam that was oozing down the cup in white. But you'll see later, I ended up doing that in gray too because it just looked a little bit sharper. Here I added blue to indicate that it's shiny glass, but I also adjusted that later. Um, I put some white over it to make it a little bit lighter. I'm adding cinnamon sprinkles because I am a huge fan of adding cinnamon to everything coffee related. And so anything that has coffee, I add cinnamon. Here is the final case. It is so stinking cute. It's a little espresso type coffee drink with a teal straw, pink background, and all the cinnamon sprinkles you could ever want in a coffee drink. This one's definitely my favorite. All right, so for a cup, oh, okay, I'm drawing a cup. This is not a cup, this is a phone case. For phone case number three, I'm using this makeup sponge and I am creating the lemon in a glass, but incorporating a squishy. So the part of the lemon that is outside of the glass is going to be a painted squishy. And the part that's inside of the glass is going to be flat with the case. Lots of drinks could have a lemon on the outside, but I wanted mine to be a lemonade, so I chose this light yellow, and I am painting using acrylic paints. So here I did a pink straw, and then to indicate that it's inside of the lemonade glass, I did a light pink for the straw portion that's mixed with that yellow from where the lemonade is. Here I played with a bunch of different tones to try and get the color that I wanted for the background. I really wanted this teal color. So I finally got the color that I wanted and I painted the entire background teal. I was brainstorming how to make the glass show through as glass. So I ended up just adding a bunch of white to that teal color so that it was like you were looking through the glass and could see the background color. Using acrylics, I still did a second coat just because I wanted it to be really clean. And then you wanna make sure that as you're going through, the lines are smooth because you'll see some lines in my background. So here I added dots. Don't forget, that's how it was supposed to look, like this. But I made the mistake of adding dots to my first phone case and had to reevaluate because I didn't want to do the same exact design. So here I'm adding some... Posca paint pens for an outline. I could have stuck to the same acrylic paint, but these Posca pens are just so much easier when you want to get a straight line. So I flipped back over to using those and then I'm using gray for inside the glass. And here I'm adding some ice cubes and then just adding our highlights. Now I painted this with 25 layers, it felt like. 
of fabric paint because honestly it was so difficult that makeup sponge just soaked everything up. So I laid it down on the cup, made a circle, and then painted the portion that was in the cup so that I knew where to line up my squishy. Then I went through and painted the squishy, and yes, as you saw in the picture, I am painting a lemon. So I went through with my fabric paint, and I painted this squishy, and then the tricky part was having to line it up with the cup so that it made sense with the painting. So I went in and did my best from this angle it almost looks like it's a little bit flat on the bottom so I might have to reevaluate that but here I'm adding the outline and again because it's inside the glass I'm using gray and then on the actual squishy I will be using black as the background just like the rest of the phone case and I had to be really careful and use the really pointy tip area so that I didn't have these big fat lines I added highlights and then I went in and added some seeds. So to glue this on, I used hot glue and I realized that I underlined the outside. So I only glued on that top corner and then went in with my Posca pen and redid the outline and added more where it needed it. So I'm glad that I didn't just glue it all down right away. Then I gl glued section by section. I wanted to make sure that the outline stood out because it's what connects this whole thing together, the lemon that's inside the glass and the lemon that's outside. This is the step that I didn't video with the other two cases, but I used Matte Mod Podge, or Mod Podge, Matte Mod Podge <laughs> to glue and seal my phone cases. I did that to all three of them. I made sure to get a nice thick layer so that it would hold well. And here is my final product. Look at that cute little phone case. It's got its 3D element where it's got the squishy on there. And considering it's glued to a phone case, it still has a pretty good squish. So I'm excited about that. I added the dots around the cup for a little visual interest to the case but overall I'm really happy with it these are all three of the cases I just love them so much I have sunny that I painted on the hard case I have the espresso drink and then I have my lemonade with a squishy on top if you guys like this video please comment let me know if you want to see more bye guys